I'm Dr. Leonard Sender and I'm the director of the Young Adult Cancer Program at the University of California, Irvine and the director of clinical cancer services. The number one cause of death from a disease under the age of 40 is cancer. We at the university have created a program that addresses young adults with cancer and addresses them in a way that is age, age appropriate, socially appropriate, psychologically appropriate and most importantly biologically appropriate. The young adult program is, is age 21 to 39 years of age and this group of patients which make up about 55,000 Americans in the United States in the year 2009 this group of patients has a worse outcome than our old adults and clearly a worse outcome than our young kids. And the tragedy is we've had no increase in survivorship in the last 20 years. We believe this is because most people don't know about it. So we create an awareness program that goes along with our biological program. Here at the Chow Family Comprehensive Cancer Center in the University, we are passionate about making sure that they know that they can have the right treatment, that we care, take care of the issues that are really important to them, like fertility, like pr fertility preservation. We take care of making sure we understand what it's like to be a 22-year-old and having breast cancer and requiring a mastectomy, or a sarcoma patient in their 20s who may have to have their leg amputated or a leukemia patient who we know if they get the right treatment have a chance of 75% cure, but the data shows that in the general communities around this country and around the world, that maybe it's only a 40% survival. So we know that there's what I call low-hanging fruit. We can make a difference in a large number of these young adults if we do the right things. One of the big issues that, we, that face our young adult patient population is relationships. We are a different society. People are not necessarily getting married when they're 20 or 21, and they often don't have a significant other. So being diagnosed with cancer, what's it mean in how you deal with your relationships? What it means for your work? What it means for your studies? Can you continue your studies? What, what, what happens to you when you have an interval, you have a break? We sort of say that they fell off the railway tracks. Our goal is to help them up. Many different aspects, we're approaching the problem not just in the standard way you approach a patient coming to a doctor, but what's it mean to be a patient with that disease in that community, in that society? How do we find them the resources that they need? How do we help them with health insurance? How do we make sure they can still get health insurance when they're finished? How do we keep keeping them at university? How do we help them in their jobs? And how do we help them with, more importantly, the survivorship issues? We want to cure them. That's our goal. Our goal is curative which means we have to deal with what are the consequences of the cure that we've just given them. How do we create meaningful survivorship? How do we make sure we encourage them to be the best that they could be, even though they were unlucky enough to have been diagnosed with cancer? And how do we educate a whole new generation of oncologists coming in, so our medical oncologists, our fellows, orthopedic surgeons, GYN, etc., so that they can come out and know that when they see a young person, they're never going to say that you're too young to have had cancer. You shouldn't, ha that's, that lump doesn't mean anything. You're not, you don't have melanoma. That spot on your skin, well, you're way too young. We want to change everyone's mind to the words, consider cancer. When you see a young person with a persistence, persistence of their symptoms, that may be cancer. Please look into it so we can make a difference. We also believe in the Bill of Rights and we're very proud the university have sponsored and I sponsored personally a Bill of Rights which is known as the 70K Bill of Rights and it stands for 70,000 people under the age of 40 years of age who are diagnosed with cancer and we're proud to say that our Bill of Rights is now being taken up on an international level and it is, forms part of the basis of a new international bill, Charter Bill of Rights for patients throughout the world. We have that's been adopted in the United Kingdom, in Australia, New Zealand, and the Lance Armstrong Foundation. And we're very proud to have been instrumental in being part of this awareness of young adult cancers. We cannot stand by and watch these young adults not get the right treatment. Here at the University of California, Irvine, and the Child Cancer Center, we're really proud that I've created a team of people that are all committed to making sure that one day we can say, you don't have to go through what others went through, a better chance of survival.